Hi, this is Paul. We're going to talk about a SRAM shifter adapter. Uh, this is your typical SRAM trigger shifter. It mounts here onto this clamp. This clamp is for a 22.2 handlebar, also known as 7 eighths of an inch. Uh, mountain bike, typical mountain bike handlebar. Uh, what we wanted to do is out riding, and I love this wide range stuff, uh, the 1042, and I'm thinking, I gotta get that on a drop bar bike. I hate front derailers on all bikes, and I really like that wide range, and I want that on a drop bar bike. So I went back to the shop, and I built a clamp that fits on a 31.8 handlebar. And we have that right here. So this is our adapter. There's your, here's your SRAM shifter. Here's the adapter. Two parts. Don't have to untape your bars. If you want to move it around, change it. Um, for this, to convert a mountain bike to drop bars, because it's really fun to do and ride around on a big tire bike with drop bars. And uh, uh, you don't need to invest in an expensive shifter lever combo. You can just you buy one of these guys, and your uh, if you've got a SRAM drivetrain and you're and you're off to go, and it's it's a whole lot of fun. And uh, I think everybody should try it. One thing about the shifter adapter I want to point out is there will be a gap right there. Now this is an early model, this is a version that the current production version gap will be smaller, but these two sides are angled so as you tighten this screw it wedges itself in there and that's the way SRAM des designed it. So we basically just copied their uh, what you would call a saddle for that. Uh, here's the one half, simply goes on uh, and don't think too much about where you want the shifter when you're putting it on the handlebar because it seems it seems a little counterintuitive until you really get it get on there and start moving it around. These threads are kind of gumped up with dirt and dust. I'm riding this bike all winter without any cleaning. So you tighten it up, or you get, a, you get a finger tight, move it around, get behind it, try it out, see if you like it, move it up here, move it way back here. Um, one thing, if you have it up a little bit closer, you can use your finger on here. Uh, and once you find your right position, just tighten it down. It doesn't have to be super monster tight, you know, if you crash, it's better that the shifter moves, then uh, it breaks. And there you have it.